What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today, we're talking Kamala Harris go sneaker shopping. So stay tuned. Open one day, I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I start a new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive in today's video, right? We're talking Kamala Harris goes sneaker shopping. Now, first off, let me just go ahead and state the obvious. I will not be discussing any form of politics. That's not what my channel is about. I have no opinions whatsoever that I would like to put on that. We're gonna keep it simple, only about the sneaker shopping, right? Okay, anyway, so obviously she's a senator and you can tell, I could tell first off when I was watching this episode, like right when it starts, you can tell that not that all not that all the not that all of the previous episodes didn't feel like a little staged or pre-planned but this episode in particular felt more staged and planned than any like you can tell it was like from beginning to end you know one of the things i want to point out is if you watch all the latest episodes that just came out this year since it started back up we haven't seen nobody wearing any masks, right? Other than the people working in the store, like doing a checkout, right? That's working in the physical store's locations. However, uh, the host and whoever, the person that goes sneaker shopping, they haven't been putting on any masks. But this episode, <laughs> the customer that was going shopping had on a mask and so did the host, right? Okay, and that's not a shot, but I'm just saying I noticed that already off rip. They wasn't playing those games. I can tell there was pretty much strict guidelines, right? So about the sneaker shopping in itself, right? It was pretty much obvious already what she was gonna buy. buy. She gives you those mom vibes and I'm not sure if she's an actual mom or stepmom. I kind of researched it, but I don't really know her personal business right that. Really don't care to know her personal business, but she gives me that old school vibe of like, it reminds me of somebody I used to date back in the day. Their mom would always rock Chuck Taylors whenever we used to go get dinner on the weekend or whatever. So she gave me that exact same vibe. And there's nothing wrong with the Chuck Taylors, man, because those are a classic sneaker, right? Okay, so, but you can tell this one was kind of designed specifically for the senator and, or, you know, that's pretty much all she picked up. And I think the total came out to be like $91. I think it was $85 plus tax. Not bad, but like I said, she ain't, I know she wasn't about to get bust over the head. That's one of the things when I was watching the entire episode, I was like, I don't care what she buys. I know she not paying resale prices, bruh. Like, ain't no way. I just couldn't see it. And of course, I was right, right? Okay. And um, also, another cool thing about this episode is they did donate 21 pairs to a university in North Carolina, I believe. I think it's called Johnson C. Let me look it up. I'm going to look it up on my phone real quick. One second. So they did donate a pair to, what is it? Yeah, Johnson C. Smith University, right? Okay, sorry, I, I haven't been down there in a minute and I'm not too familiar with the college, but 21 pairs were donated to students, which is cool. So you know what I'm saying? This episode, you can tell it was more, like I said, it's stage is the best way I can really describe it, right? And that's not a not a diss or anything like that. She definitely kept it true to herself and they've been showing her, you know, rocking Chuck Taylors throughout the campaign. So it was pretty much obvious where that was gonna be headed. My only thing I was hoping that she would actually surprise us and and do it like sort of like the the previous episodes and you know, buy some drip or something or show that she, you know, she's in the Jordans or something, but not so much. So, you know. I ain't gonna say the episode was boring, but it was, it was just different. But at the same time, good different, but also one of those difference where it was like predictable. I, I literally predicted that entire episode. So, you know, no shots at all with Shopping With Complex. Definitely something, they gotta switch it up every single time. So I was definitely surprised to see that it was her, right? Okay, but I don't know, I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section of this episode of Kamala Harris Go Sneaker Shopping. What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section. I want your thoughts and opinions and honest truth. Anyway, I'ma go on and get up out of here, man. It's our rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing 
subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out. Whoa. Man, I just woke up from a fat nap. <laughs> so I'ma make raps in my room.